Quebec needs more workers to fill job vacancies. Quebec is taking steps to solve labor shortages, including raising immigration quotas and making it simpler for firms in need of temporary foreign workers to hire them. According to Quebec's Immigration Levels Plan, which was issued on October 28, 2021, the province will welcome 52,500 new permanent residents in 2022. Let's go. Hello viewers, welcome to our US and Canada Immigration News Channel. In today's video, we will be bringing to you news updates about Quebec's needs of workers to fill job vacancies according to report by CIC News Link, mentioned in the description below. If you are interested in this content, watch this video till the end and please support our channel by liking, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get informed each time we upload new video. Quebec boasts a low unemployment rate and a record number of job openings to begin the new year. The provincial and federal administrations have proposed a number of immigration-related policies in an effort to address labor shortages. The pandemic has altered the labor market in Quebec. According to a report by the Institut du Québec, public health interventions have exacerbated already existing labor market inequalities and created new issues. We've started 2022 with one of the lowest unemployment rates in years and a record number of job openings, said Mia Homsi, CEO of the Institut du Québec, in a press release. With a shrinking pool of potential workers and a significant drop in the labor market participation rate among those 55 and older, the labor shortage will undoubtedly be the most significant impediment to recovery unless businesses, unions, schools and governments embrace a significant shift in their approach to human resources management. According to the analysis, as employees reach retirement age at a period of significant job vacancies and low unemployment, Quebec's aging population will continue to have an impact on labor supply. Some workers, such as those in the 55-plus age bracket, are still on the job market, and it may be tough to persuade early retirees to return. Furthermore, even beyond the pandemic, the lodging, food service, and retail industries may face continuous recruitment issues forcing businesses to reassess their business models. Jobs that do not offer the opportunity to work from home or in a hybrid model may become less appealing to potential employees, as additional options become available. Employers who are having difficulty filling positions may need to lower their hiring standards, particularly those connected to academic degrees. If this is the case, educational requirements for specific jobs may be less severe than they were prior to the pandemic. To maintain competitiveness, businesses may be able to offset this by putting more emphasis on professional development and in-house training. Finally, more professions will be seeking for applicants with stronger reading comprehension, writing, and complicated problem-solving skills despite the fact that digital literacy is already a problem in Quebec and the rest of Canada. The demand for qualified professionals will continue to rise, particularly in the fields of healthcare, social assistance, education, information technology, and construction. The majority of these newcomers will be drawn to Quebec through its economic immigration initiatives, such as the Quebec Skilled Worker Program and the Quebec Experience Program. In order to meet the admission levels that were not met in 2020 because to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Levels Plan additionally asks for an additional 18,000 admissions. This means that in 2022, Quebec might welcome more than 70,000 newcomers. In addition, a variety of policies for temporary foreign workers have been implemented in Quebec. Certain Quebec workplaces can now sustain up to 20% temporary workers, up from 10% previously. This measure applies to companies in hard-hit industries like retail, lodging, and food services, among others. Also, starting May 24 this year, vocations classified as skill level C in the National Occupational Classification will be included in the Treatment Simplify. Under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program, this simplified process gives Quebec firms more freedom. Quebec declared on December 6, 2021 that some NOCD vocations will be excluded from the TFWP's advertising and recruitment requirements. 
Only occupations designated as NOC skill levels 0, A, and B were formerly eligible for streamlined processing. These are just a few of the policies that Quebec and the federal government have put in place to help the province's labor market, through immigration. According to a survey by the Institut du Québec, immigrants have a high rate of employment in Quebec's workforce. Landed immigrants who have been in Canada for less than five years have seen the most job growth. In 2021, the employment rate for these newcomers was about 76 percent, compared to approximately 64 percent in 2019. The entire immigrant employment rate was about 83 percent at the end of 2021 up from roughly 78% in 2019. Our video for today ends here, but please subscribe to our channel to get notified each time we upload a new video and stay tuned for more updates on US and Canada immigration news update. Thanks for watching.